Military sexual trauma, otherwise known as MST, is the trauma that results from a military sexual act. We are looking at roughly 20,000 individuals a year who are reporting this happening. We are trained and conditioned to trust the people to our left and right. We would take a life for them or gladly lay down ours. It is imperative that the Department of Veterans Affairs provide support for MST survivors and deliver benefits and services with dignity and respect at the forefront. Operation Tehidu is a program that we have been conducting here at Melwood since 2017. Because we have a focus on moral injury, more and more military sexual trauma survivors have come forward expressing an interest in our program, and we've embraced that. My military experience was a mix of good and bad. I got to go places that I would never go on my own, like traveling to the Red Sea. Unfortunately, there is some MST in there, and there's healing to do with regards to that. For a long time, military sexual trauma was sort of that thing that was pushed under the rug. But Melwood has not been afraid to say, this is a problem and we are going to address it. Before I started the entire process of Operation Tahidu, I was literally at a place where I was hopeless. I said it out loud to my husband, and that's a big word for whenever they check on us, do you feel hopeless? And um, <laughs> we both admitted we were. In the past, there were individuals who experienced this and not reporting was almost to be expected. Now we're at the point where we are able to voice the things that have happened. It was very difficult for me to acknowledge that I am a survivor and that I was a victim. I think the same is true for the vast majority. It would have been very helpful in my life if I had done this even sooner, although I don't want to discount the importance even now. At Operation Tahidu, we have a five-week virtual program followed by a four-day in-person at our Melwood Recreation Center. While we're here at the Rec Center, we focus on topics that are harder to cover online, and we also build in that team building, that rapport, that trust. Participating with Operation Tahidu was a lot easier than I thought. The facilitators made it so easy, and with the classes we had prior to the retreat, it made it a lot easier to form friendships and bonds to feel like we're not strangers when we get here. There's an element of isolation that's very built into the veteran experience. After you leave active duty and then go back home, it feels like where am I and who do I know and how do I connect back into my community? It's a wall and it's a safety and trust issue because of the MST. Melwood's mission is to serve individuals with disabilities, but I think we've realized that those invisible wounds are also very important in the lives of veterans. We're one of very few organizations in the country that if you tell us that you have military sexual trauma, we will believe you and we will give you the services that you need. Studies have shown that the time that you spend with us is equivalent to six months of talk therapy. And people are moving the needle in ways that they just have not been able to do in their lives for many years. We have to save ourselves. Nobody's coming to save us. But with programs like this, they teach you what's in your toolbox and they teach you how to tap into it. So going forward, you're stronger and more resilient. We're able to bring people back into the workforce, back into their relationships. With this disability, this invisible wound that they have not been able to overcome in their lives, there is nothing more important than community. And I think we've learned that through this pandemic more than we've learned this ever in our lifetime. I understand that there are other women and men, but women here that I'm meeting that have the exact same frustrations. We get frustrated that we can't handle the world like we used to. I feel like there's a future now, and I couldn't see one for a very long time. Or I didn't want to. When you get assaulted in the military, it's not like an honorable injury. We have an injury we can't tell people about. Something like this, it's nature, it's healing, and it's healing without really trying sometimes because you're just absorbing everything around you. Operation Hidu has helped to lower some barriers and has helped to begin a long healing process. I think it's wonderful that programs like Operation Tohidu exist now. It bespeaks a raised awareness of the need for recognizing the abuses that occur that is the first step to eradicating them. I definitely feel hope again and want to partake around people and be around people and be social. 
20,000 brave men and women every year are victims of military sexual assault or harassment during their service to our country. Melwood helps survivors of military sexual trauma move from hopelessness to healing through Operation Tehidu. Please give generously to help our veterans heal their invisible wounds by donating at melwood.org veterans.